Hello, everyone. My name is George Ogorodnik with Zentech Consultants, and today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use direct modeling in BricsCAD to generate complex shapes. So today we're going to be modeling this single cylinder crankcase body for this Sato engine. So we're going to start by generating the profile of our crankcase. So there's the crankcase body. There's the seat for our inner bearing. The midsection. And the seat for our outer bearing. So now the outside profile is done. I'm just going to resize it with my push pull. And let's go ahead and hollow this out. So there's my cylinder body hollowed out, and I'm going to also hollow out the inside of my bearing seat. And I'm going to do the same for my outside bearing seat. And finally, I'm going to hollow out my crankshaft bore. So now the inside and the outside of our crankcase body is complete. So I'm just going to clean up this model by removing all of the sketches. And next, we're going to do the base of our cylinder. And for that, I'm going to move my user coordinate system. Like so. And we're going to draw some construction lines to help us. And let's create the profile for our cylinder base by using a polygon. With the help of a entity snap, we'll align it to the center of our construction polyline. And once that's done, we're going to fill at the edges and extrude it. So that's extruded. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the inside here by doing another extrusion. So I only want to cut away this part. I don't want to cut away my um, my inner bearing seat that I made. So I'll just do that. And that looks perfect. And last but not least, I'm going to hollow out my cylinder bore. So let's center it right here, line it up with our entity snaps. Position it, draw it, and cut it out. And there you have it. There's our finished rough model of our, uh, of our crankcase body. If you have any questions about BricsCAD or you'd like to attend our trainings, please visit our website. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.